Um, well, fall armyworms, we're kind of winding down the season for them. Uh, we're getting close to when we would expect to have a killing frost. Things are cooling down a little bit now. And, and honestly, over the last month or so, I haven't had uh, as many calls about fall armyworm as I had earlier in the year. Uh, we typically have them be an issue in wheat uh, every year, but maybe because the wheat's been delayed, you know, we had a dry uh, planting season, uh, things got planted late. So uh, right now it doesn't seem like there's much of an issue with them. And once we get a killing frost, there'll be no issue with them anymore. That doesn't mean that producers are out of the, uh, you know, they, they still gotta be looking for other things. We have another army cutworm, I'd call it an army worm, but it's the, called the army cutworm. That's just the opposite. It doesn't mind killing frost at all. In fact, there's no such thing as a killing frost for it. It uh, survives the winters. It survives the winters up in North Dakota. So what it does is it actually migrates into the Rocky Mountains in the summer because it's too hot here. But in the winter, it does fine. So this is a year where I would suggest that farmers be a little bit uh, aware of them because the uh, army cutworm likes to come in and lay their eggs in bare soil. And we had bare soil out here for quite a while because the wheat wasn't coming up out of the ground. So in, in regards to scouting um, in, in the timetable for army cutworms, is it similar? Like for, for one, when, when is army cutworms, when, when would they typically be a problem? And uh, are, is management um, in scouting the same, similar to what that would be for fall army? We do, uh, uh, we scout for them later in the year because right now they would be so small, it'd be hard to, to do a good job of scouting. But uh, in February, if, if you're a winter canola grower or if you're you know, growing winter wheat, uh, that's when I'd start looking for them. Uh, these things are kind of, especially in, in uh, um, any, pa any wheat that's being grazed because uh, army cutworms will find clods to, to stay under during the day um, or cow patties, they like to hide under cow patties. And so uh, we have ways to scout for them, but it's just basically stirring up the soil and seeing if they're there. And we have thresholds that are set up for them, but uh, it's really important to not get caught. I've, I've heard, literally heard farmers say, I was out looking at my wheat field, it looked great. And then, then it looked like the wheat just turned around and went back into the ground in a few days. And that was because they had army cutworm issues. So, you know, you know, finally, is there any, um, are there any other insects that, you, that, that are gonna overwinter here that might be a problem that you have your eye on? Well, um, chinch bugs, uh, for example, uh, they overwinter in bunch grasses and then they come into wheat in the, you know, late fall or late winter, excuse me, and they'll start feeding and then they go through a generation there and then they move into summer crops. So sometimes wheat can actually serve as a, a bridge crop for them to get into sorghum and corn. Um, army worm is, is another one that overwinters in Oklahoma. We typically see it become a problem once the, the wheat heads have popped up. Uh, and they will come in and lay their eggs and, and uh, the, the army worms will come in and, and feed at that time of the year. But they do overwinter here in Oklahoma. So that is the army worm that isn't killed by killing frost. Um, aphids, of course, they're always an issue and either in canola or wheat, uh, they can spend the winter, do pretty well. And sometimes the, uh, uh, most years we have the, even the natural enemies, the, the, the wasps that like to attack aphids. They can survive the winters here, but last year they weren't able to survive. It got too cold for them here and we knocked them out. And so they didn't really show up back in Oklahoma until much later in the, the spring than we would have typically seen. Them. All right, thanks Tom. Dr. Tom Royer, Extension Entomologist here at Oklahoma State University.